This is probably the most dodgiest way you can machine a cylinder head at home. Uh, lap the valves as well, but if you are in a pinch uh, and you've only got 50 bucks to get your car back on the road, then keep watching because this is how you do it. All right, now we need to, to make this stick properly. We have to wait for it to uh, just tack off a bit because if you just try and apply the wet straight to the wet, it won't really uh, work that well. So just wait for this to get a bit tacky and then we'll shark it in place. Okay, surfaces are just starting to get tacky, which means that is the optimum. Time to put these in place. Okay, so we've got our cylinder head. We've got our 100 grit to start with, uh, sandpaper. We've used the spray glue to glue it to our massive sheet of, uh, this is Perspex, you can use glass, but it's, this is thick so it's not gonna warp or bend, uh, which is what you need. The next step oh, is just to dump this here and we'll use some forward and back motions and pretty much the weight of the cylinder head is what will keep this uh, this sheet flat and keep this true all the way. So all we want to do is now what we want to do is not have this workbench move. And that's pretty much it. We're just going to do that over and over and over again until we get a surface. Oh, it starts looking like this. So we can see here, there's quite a lot of the surface now. It's starting to look pretty much like a reflective mirror surface now. So you can slightly see some marks still from a gasket. So we'll just keep going a little bit more with this 100 grit until some of those marks we can't see, but I've run a fingernail over these and, and they're not picking up at all, which means they're pretty, they're pretty much non-existent anyway. What I'll do is I'll keep running with this just for now, and then we'll get the 240 grid on it, just to mirror it up and uh, run a straight edge over it, and that should be about it. So if we look at these now, you can see that surface, it's got a great shine to it, and it's, it's really, really smooth to touch too, so. I'm pretty happy with that.